What is going on, Halo fans? My name is Luke the Notable, and welcome to Staketacular episode 21. In this episode, we'll be talking about a wide variety of things, notably, <laughs> notably, no, it's very notable, we'll be talking about the new update that came out in Halo 5. Uh, well, that is going to come out, I should say, at, uh, I should say, on September 8th. <clears throat> You'll have to forgive me a little bit. Um, I just recorded a shitload of Staketacular, 20 minutes in, and I realized my microphone wasn't recording. So, uh, a little infuriated at that, but that's okay. That means that this one will be a little bit more focused, um, even though I kind of like to ramble in these. We're keeping the same format as last week where I go into live commentary. Gets me rambling a little bit more. However, my voice is starting to die, so I got some uh, horse semen, a.k.a. milk. Helps lubricate my vocal cords and keeps me talking longer. I think it's the fat in the milk. However, this is fat-free milk, so yeah, I don't know how well that's going to work. Maybe it's just the cold liquid. Who knows? Either way, I generally use it if I've commentated a lot, because right before I did the last take, I should say, of Staketacular, I had recorded a Spartan School right before that, uh, and you'll see that later this week. But first thing we got to talk about is tomorrow this video is going to be oh this video is going to be posted on oh how did that not kill you this video is going to be posted on saturday i'm fuck that guy mad skills uh mad skills <laughs> good connection better better connection to the server than me because i shot six shots in your face bruh speaking of bad connection that is the address of the land i will be at tomorrow uh at 2 p.m it is a Gorilla Games store around here. This, is, this isn't where I live, obviously. This is near where I live. And I'll be driving there tomorrow for a free-for-all LAN that I will be competing in. If you're in the area around Naperville, around the Chicago suburb area, you know, any of those towns, Aurora, uh, Wheaton, uh, West Chicago, any of those places, please come by. Uh, all of the information can be found on the actual Facebook page, and I'll be linking that in the description. So if you want to come check me out, come play, com compete against me, maybe win some money. Uh, I think if you don't bring a setup, it's 10 bucks. If you bring a setup, it's 5 but they only allow a few setups to be brought because it's a free-for-all. We don't need 10 setups, so they don't want to clutter the whole place. Um, anyway, it's basically going to be tomorrow. It's going to be a little free-for-all land. Oh, did they just... F oh, we eliminated it. Okay. Allie Rocks' uh, notification was clogging my space here. Come on, Allie. Come on, Allie. But I already know of one fan that is definitely going to be there. I don't know if any of the other guys that are going right now are fans. But if you're in the area and you want to check me out, I'm sure some of you are. Um, I know for a fact someone uh, that won a Chaotix giveaway is in Naperville. I'm not going to say who. I just know that someone that won one of the, uh, I think it was the t-shirt or something like that. They're in Naperville. so I know some of you are in the area. And, and if you want to come out and check me out, come compete against me. Bring 10 bucks, bring your controller, and we'll play some free-for-all. <laughs> Just be wary that I am awful under pressure and will probably not win at all. Um, I also know of some really good players that are going, so I thought I dodged that for sure. So that's exciting. Never competed uh, in a LAN in Halo 5 before. I, have, I did in Halo 4, but not in Halo 5. And for Halo Reach and Halo 3, I was too young. Uh, I don't know the age requirement. I don't know if you have to be 17, though. All the ones I've ever been to, you have to, but I don't know. You could probably just go to the Facebook page and ask them there. Uh, if you're under 17, you know, they might be able to let you in just because you have the game. Oh, actually, no! Halo 5's a rated T game. I forgot. So they're probably going to let 13-year-olds in. That's pretty cool. So if you're 13 or older, you should have no problem getting into the getting into the LAN. I mean, you're old enough to play the game, you know. Why shouldn't you uh, be able to compete? You know what I mean? And I can just tell them, you know... At the door, I'll be like, yo, that's, that's my fan right there. You let him in, because I'm Luke the Notable. <laughs> if you know me, you can get into the club. Anyway, let's talk about the uh, big announcements for the, oh, what is it even called? The Anvil Anvil uh, Legacy? God, I have Halo Waypoint open. I can get to it real quick. I'll get to the name. But let's talk about some of the stuff that I am um, very, oh, Anvil's Legacy. Yeah, that was right. Let's talk about some of the stuff that I am very, very excited about. 
Uh, and every time an update comes out, there's always stuff that's like, yeah, that was pretty, that, oh, holy crap! <laughs> there's always stuff that you're like, wow, that'll be really cool, and your stuff like, like, eh, I don't really mind that, that's whatever. Um, I assume that there will be some rec drops as well, uh, and just in general, a lot of goodies that are going to come up with this update, but if you haven't checked out the new update post on Halo Waypoint, go check that out. It's always nice to be informed, it's always nice to be hyped. This update comes out fully on September 8th, which at the time I'm recording this video is uh, eight eight days away. Yeah, depending on how many days are in August. What are there, 31? Oh, God. Anyway, um, number one thing that I am hyped about, I brought this picture to show you all. Ba -ba -bum. Haven. Yes. Yes, Haven. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so, yep, I knew exactly. Whoa, what the hell? This connection is so bad. Anyway, Haven. And you guys couldn't even see that. Haven. I'm so excited for Haven. Uh, it's a Sangheili remake, which in my last episode of Staketacular, I said, you know, I would really like more Sangheili-type maps. They took that. I, I know they didn't take that that week and then created it in a week, but that was something that I wanted to come true in this update. And so far, it totally has... Uh, I'm not sure about the Warzone map. I don't. I don't remember reading anything on that. But maybe I just missed it up in the uh, update. Um, but there will also be a new Warzone map and all goodies in between. Oh, the Arc Light! It's the new Braille gun. <laughs> but I'm excited for Haven. Haven was really one of those maps on the MC or not the MCC. I guess the MCC on Halo 4 that I really enjoyed. Really enjoyed Haven because um, it was that classic, like symmetrical Halo map. However, it had a lot of things that made it its own. It had a lot of things that I really enjoyed that was just unique to Haven and alone. Uh, something that a lot of other maps couldn't do before or didn't do before. And I think with Halo 5's movement, with Halo 5's abilities, I think it's going to play really well. Especially with the lifts. I love gravity lifts in Halo 5. I think it's one of the coolest things um, to have a gravity lift in the game. Sadly, there aren't a lot of maps that have gravity lifts in Halo 5. I think that's such a shame because they do so much, especially with the thruster pack. You can, you know, instantly change directions. Um, I find it very fun in Halo 5 to use gravity lifts. And Haven in Halo 4 had them, so hopefully they'll have them in this rendition in the Halo 5 version. I'm hoping, anyway. I don't know if they will. Who knows? 343 could do some weird stuff with it. Um, but I definitely like that they're redoing this map because it's a map that they know. It's a map that they came up with. Um, and I hope they do treat it right when we finally do end up getting it. There's a lot of people in here. Okay, that's two. One behind me. Oh my god. Wow. Am I am I supposed to kill everyone here, guys? Is I'm is I'm supposed is 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 me supposed to kill everybody in the game? Am I supposed to get some help here? What is going on? Someone's gotta help me out if I'm gonna try to I don't I'm not playing with headphones. Um because I notice I talk a little bit louder with those on and to save my voice. Um <laughs> Because I've, rec I've talked basically for the last hour. To save my voice, to cut down on voice cracks, I am keeping those off. Because I do talk louder with them. And talking louder, of course, will make your voice die faster. Stop, ghost. That's my friend. Stop, ghost. Try to splatter me. I dare you. I dare you. Come on. There you are. Hmm? Where are you, ghost? Let's see. Come on. Put him up. Put your dukes up. Oh, it hit him. Ah, -ha! Oh, hit him twice. Oh, you nerd. Get destroyed, guy in the open, and the ghost ran away. Oh, I'm a pro at this. Holy crap. Back on the update, one more thing you probably would have found interesting. One of the things that was leaked first, actually, was the Gunfighter Magnum. It's a new Magnum coming to the game. Uh, it's, I don't think it's going to replace the old Magnum, but I don't think people are looking into it like they should. Um, I think the goal of this isn't to have just another wreck weapon, just to have another Magnum that you can kind of just use. I think the goal is maybe to make variants. Variants of HCS and... Oh, that was a monster Spartan Charge. Oh, I hate Spartan Charge. But I think the goal is to make different versions of the competitive Slayer, competitive flag that has Gunfighter. It's got a cool name. You could name it Gunfighter Slayer, where you, instead of starting with the you know regular Magnum, you start with the Gunfighter Magnum. It essentially takes away its smart scope, um, which... I'm assuming is is done because it should drastically reduce the pistol's effective range, because uh, smart scope 
makes brings that range up by a lot. Um, makes it, you know, not good in every situation, of course. Like the battle rifle outranges it, but it does increase the range enough for it to get some kills at longer range, especially with higher, you know, accuracy. Ooh, that guy died quick. I'm sorry, John Chris. You died so fast. Oh, you died so fast too. Oh, I'm getting shot at by like three people right now. Yep. Didn't think I'd... Mad skills, I hate you. Your 23 kills. With your good internet. Damn you. I'm going to use H2BR. <clears throat> but I don't necessarily think it's just going to be a random wreck weapon. I think it, they might try to create some variance in competitive play with it. They might try to bring it in as, okay, this is like a different version of Slayer, a different version of Capture the Flag that doesn't have smart scope in an attempt to maybe rebalance the pistol, which I'm not opposed to. No game is perfect. No game will ever be perfect. Maybe 343 has play tested with the Gunfighter Magnum, and it plays better. And instead of completely overhauling the way the Magnum works, because I don't think that's really the best thing to do right now, um, now that people are finally kind of getting comfortable with Halo 5, I think that what they're doing instead is saying, okay, let's add this different option so that we can have a different variant, you know, to the regular Slayer formula. We can add something different to Slayer instead of completely changing the way it plays. That way you have, maybe the, Ma maybe the Gunfighter Magnum is going to be, you know, a little bit better um, or a little bit more usable in close range. Or maybe it's going to be a little bit better at medium range. Maybe gunfighter settings are going to have the Magnum be the only option. No assault rifle. That's what I think is probably the most uh, logical. Would be that they would get rid of the assault rifle entirely and just have, you know, the Magnum. Uh, I think that would make a lot of older Halo fans a little bit more happy. At least stubborn ones. <laughs> um, I, like, I like the uh, pistol and Magnum combo. I think it adds a lot to the game. I think it, and it actually, I just did a Spartan School and I talked about this. You know, it adds a little bit, bit of diversity. It makes it so you can't just be good at one certain aspect of the game, the Magnum, and be the best. You have to be good at mastering the assault rifle. You have to be good at knowing when to switch between the two weapons. You have to be good at all these different things that arise. You know what? I don't think I've ever used the Didact Signet. We're going to try it out. This is the one that, like, curves like a bitch, right? Just crazy curve on this thing, right? Is that what it does? We're going to try it out. It's only level 5. Is that a warthog? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Warthog. Mr. Warthog. Mm -hmm. Bring me a dream. Boom, 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 boom. Shoot you in the face like I've ever seen. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we're done with that. <laughs> uh, so I definitely think the Gunfighter Magnum will bring us something. I don't know what it is just yet, but it will bring us something. And I am very excited to see where that leads us. Uh, I think a lot of people are just looking at this too black and white, looking at it too transparently. I think it is a lot more than what they're saying it is. And it's going to be really cool when it does come out. So that's an interesting perspective on it. Hopefully you guys kind of feel me here. I would, I would honestly, I would like to see a game mode where it was only Magnums. I think it would change a lot of the way the maps play. Um, I think it would change a lot of the flow of different maps. And that could be kind of refreshing. That was something that Halo 3 did pretty cool. You know, there was BR starts, there were AR starts, and maps played differently. Maps like the pit on BR starts, you had a lot more focus, uh, you know, around not really controlling the sniper tower. Uh, a lot more focus on, you know, the close quarters aspect because that was the only place you were really safe. And then on AR starts, the sniper tower was king. You know, you could stay up there with a sniper all you wanted because there was no one that could get you um, from a long ways away. Let's see if we can do here. Oh, that is so much. Holy crap, that is amazing. That is amazing. Oh, that's not amazing. Let's see if we can sneak past here. Oh, we're gonna run. We're gonna run. Oh man. See this map I've never won when you lose the middle. Look how much we're getting destroyed here. The middle is so hard to take back. Fuck you! It's so hard to take back. So hard to take back once you lose it. I've never taken it back once. And again, I play a lot of Warzone solo. But, in all of my experience playing Warzone solo, in all of my experience, that's one shot, there he is. In all of my experience playing Warzone solo, I've never taken it back. I feel like there should be a better way to take it back. I think we should be able to rush from the top. Can we? I 
guess I've never really explored up here. Oh, hello. I killed him. Was that a heart seeker or a river of light? I couldn't tell. Oh, well. Whatever. Those are the only things that I'm really hyped about. But I should also talk about Forge. That's probably the last thing I'm going to talk about with this new update that comes out on September 8th. If you didn't know, Forge is coming to PC, finally. Um, this is going to make maps a lot easier to create. And it's going to make maps and Forge a lot easier to use in general. I am a huge... I dislike Forge's controls a lot. Not because they don't make sense. Because, I mean, if you learn them, any control makes sense. Um, Dead Rising was a game that I didn't like at first because the control was fucking awful. But once I learned it, it was like, eh, you know, this is pretty good. Still didn't like the... Oh, fuck you and your smart... But anyway, I think it'll make, be, make it a lot more accessible. Because one thing that always turns me off to Forge is I don't want to learn that ridiculous control. A is up and B is down or whatever the hell. Or I think a, B is up and A is down. And like you lock with certain objects. I think it would just be a lot easier, a lot more accessible with a keyboard. And I can't wait for it to come out for that reason. I cannot wait to Forge on the PC because I have a lot of cool ideas. You know, I want to make a warm-up map. A map that's made for warm-ups, you know, with... With, with all these interesting things like targets flying through the air that you have to shoot and they blow up and it gives you points or something like that. I don't know. I have different ideas. Making maps. Especially since I have a YouTube channel where I can get these things that I create out there. <laughs> like a Ricochet. If I had no subscribers, I'm sure none of you would know that Ricochet is possible. But after that video came out, a bunch of people were like, holy crap, Ricochet is possible? No way. This game is... Fuck, I hate this map. This map is awful. Like... It's I've if you're in blue side, game over. I've never won on blue team. South the south garage is awful. It's just terrible. It's so it's such a one-sided map. You're so locked into this base. You got so much crap around you. All these hills that they can hide in. This is not. There's no uh, none of these hills on red side. Are you kidding me? It's none of this stuff on red side. It's just so hard to get out of blue side. It's such a one-sided map. Ugh. Not a big fan of all Warzone maps, and this is one of them that I really just don't like. Banshees just mess with you. Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, those are the really the only things... Fuck off. Those are the really the only things that I'm really excited for in this new update that's going to come out. Obviously, uh... Maybe I'll turn my lights on here. My setup keeps fucking changing. My setup keeps changing because we got a printer and everything just keeps moving around, it seems like, every day. So I never know what my setup is going to look like the next day. <laughs> and uh, today is no different. But at least we have the backdrop, so that's cool. Drink a little bit more milk. We're almost 20 minutes in. We're, we haven't voice cracked once, I don't think. Um, it is getting quite hot in here, though, with my laptop, the Xbox, and everything else moving around in here. It does get hot. I'm starting to... Starting to get some butt sweat. So we're done talking about that. Let's talk about the next thing, which is the top five. Last week on Sunday, I unveiled the top five. A lot of you guys really liked it. My philosophy is with the top five is to make one that's entertaining, not just on the clips aspect, but to make one that's entertaining with commentary. I think you all liked that. Why am I, why am I, bringing, up the, uh, why am I bringing up the top five, guys? Why am I bringing it up? I'm bringing it up because last week I talked about how I was done making constructive criticism slash, you know, controversial slash let's make Halo 5 great again videos. And a lot of you wanted me to elaborate on that. I am done making those videos because the people that I made those videos for didn't accept them. And maybe that's because my ideas weren't good enough. But I think it's actually because the people that didn't accept my ideas, like, go watch my Make Halo Great Again, A Better Way, I, what was the title? Uh, How to Make Sprint Better for Everyone, or something like that. Essentially, I wanted to change Sprint, because, and this was the main point of the video, Sprint's going to be in Halo 6. Sprint has been in Halo since Halo Reach. 343 has had Sprint Halo. It's going to be in Halo 6. So why don't we find a way to change it in a way that makes everyone happy, rather than just bitch and complain about it. Because that's all that's happening right now. No one's actually said, hey, maybe we should change it. I was the first one to say, hey, you know, maybe these different options would be good for Sprint. You know, maybe we could find a way to make it not as uh, totally useful 
take it out of combat in general, but keep it on for different parts of the map. And for the most part, my fans, people that enjoy the game Halo 5, because I think that's who I, for the most part, put my content out for it. I hate joining games late. Um, we're like, yeah, you know, that's cool. I like, I like Sprint. I like the way it works now. I don't like Spartan Charge. I think that could definitely change. But other than that, I really have no problem with Sprint. I literally made that video for some fans that don't like Sprint and, you know, don't want to play Halo that doesn't have Sprint. And they basically just told me to fuck off that I was a 343 shill, that if I'm a true Halo fan, that I don't like Sprint, and that Sprint somehow makes the game not a Halo game anymore. And you know what? It triggered me, but I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done with that shit. I don't want to be a part of the controversial community anymore. I want to be happy. And those videos never made me happy, you know? I was, I was, I was very happy with my ideas that I came out with them. You know, I was always happy posting them because I thought, wow, this is a, I like this idea. I think it's really going to, people are going to accept this and they're going to think, wow, what a, what a good constructive idea, you know, that could possibly change the way, you know, people look at Halo, could possibly make the community come together again and people just told me to fuck off. So you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I like Halo the way it is. Sure, it's not perfect. Yes, there are some things that I would change about it, but you know what? Fuck it. Whatever. I'm going to play whatever Halo they give to me. I didn't like Halo Reach off the start. I didn't like Halo 4 off the start, but I still played them. Still played them. And they got better. You know? They got better. Because eventually, you know, they change things. I don't know, stuff happens. They get better. And you know what? I'm done. I'm done trying to make the community better. I feel like you're either on the side of, you know, Halo 5 is awful and it needs to change or Halo 5 is great and I like it the way it is and I'm just choosing to be on the I'm not I'm, I'm done being in the middle done and the top 5 is my contribution to making the community stay together top 5 is my contribution to making the community uh, strong again and also every other fucking video I make you have no idea how many comments I get every week like hey man you know I watched your videos they made me better they made the game more enjoyable for me thank you you have no idea how many comments I get like that. Um, and when I read those comments, I think, you know what? Do I really need to make controversial videos? Just me looking at the game, analyzing the game, and finding a way that people can get better makes the game more fun for people. And isn't that just as good as, you know, making a bunch of videos that people are going to hate on? You know, I just have more fun with tips. So that's what I'm going to do. I elaborated. You guys are welcome. That's the last time I'm going to be a controversial little asshole. Because honestly, I think people just don't want, don't want that. They want, they want vanilla ha fucking Halo 3. And that's not coming back unless H3A uh, announces. And if you really want to play an old school Halo, just play MCC. That's what it's there for. But the population's shit. And yeah, originally I think it was because there were a lot of problems with the game. But those problems are fixed and the population didn't come back. I don't know, man. MCC's five bucks right now. Go pick it up. Go play it. But uh, I'm I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm done making those kind of videos because I honestly, you you can't make everyone happy. I'm not gonna try to make everyone happy. That is the job of 343. I'm gonna trust them with what they do. And I don't know. I feel like they don't really listen in general. Honestly, you know, you get some ideas across. I've talked with guys like you know I'm not gonna say any names, but I've talked with different guys from 343. I feel like they're just going to do whatever they want to do in the first place. And that's not necessarily because they're a bad developer. I think that's just because they're trying to make as many people happy as possible. They tried to balance sprint, guys. They tried to balance different things about the map. People, not everyone's going to like it. And sure, some of the glitches are inexcusable, like theater. Uh, which, honestly, I don't even think it's fucking bad, you know. Sure, there's some weird graphical glitches. Sure, makes it a little, might add five more vi minutes to your, uh, you know, edit time. But honestly, it's not that bad. <laughs> I'd rather they make more maps than fix theater. Honestly, I don't. I'd rather have another, you know, Warzone map or some sort of arena map. But I'm done. I'm done talking about controversial things in Halo. I'm just done. And we're gonna move on to our next point. Our next point is school. And this kind of goes with the last point. Oh, is that three perfects in a row? I think it might be. But anyway, school. 
Uh, from the point that this video is posted, uh, three days after it's posted, I will be starting my last year, second last semester, I got two more semesters, fuck you in your tank, of college. I only have four kills? Jeez. I'll be starting my last semester of college. When I graduate, hopefully if I graduate, I'm, I don't think there'd be any reason that I shouldn't graduate. <laughs> uh, I will be a full registered nurse, and I'll be able to work as a nurse, and it's going to be a good time. Until then, I'm going to hit the books. Probably going to have to study a lot, just like last time. Last time I made it work, you know. I was a really good student while, in, you know, while doing YouTube, while having a girlfriend. I've, I've been able to balance it well. Um, and I'm going to stick. Now, I, back then, I didn't have all the series I have. So <coughs> the only thing that's probably going to change on the channel is I'm probably not going to stream as much. I really doubt I'm going to have a lot of time to spend four hours, you know, streaming. Maybe on the weekends. But at the end of the day, I might have to reserve that time for making videos, you know? I don't know if I'm going to have time to stream. I just don't. I like to stream. I like streaming. I really like streaming. There's so much shit going on right now. Can we, can we not have three million things attacking me at once? <laughs> Banshee Ultra! It's strong, but not that strong. There's just no safe place for me right now. There's everything. But anyway, I plan on, you know, doing as well as I can in school. Passing is what I'm, at this point, trying to do. And uh, when that's done, I'll be a full-fledged nurse. I'll be free. Stay in school. I've, I say that I don't like school, but, you know, I do it. You know what I mean? I think that's a lot of people's... Fucking hell, there's so much shit going on! It was a horrible time to get a Banshee out. I was trying to talk about school and stuff, but once I'm done with school, I'm not going to quit YouTube. I'm not going to quit YouTube during school. A lot of you have commented, you know, I know you're busy with school. Yes, I'm busy with school. You might see more stuff like Spartan School, because those are videos that is easier for me to do. Over time, the last year, I've learned so much about making videos that making videos doesn't take as long for me. And the quality has increased. I'm just getting better at it. And I think that's just a uh, a common course of, of making videos on YouTube. So I'm not worried about school. I'm not worried about performing well and, and also trying to balance different aspects of life and making videos. And ooh, that's a cool nice knife assassination there. I'm not worried about it. You shouldn't worry about it. I'll be fine. We'll all be fine. If you're going to college right now, you know how difficult it can be to try to balance social life and YouTube and, or not YouTube, but social life, girlfriend, whatever. I'll be fine. And I'm excited for it. I have 32 more weeks and then I'll be fully graduated. If you count out uh, November break, Thanksgiving break, and Easter break, spring break, then I have only 30 weeks. If you count out finals week, which I always do because I've never had a trouble with finals, because honestly, finals for me, it's like, why are you testing me on this? I already learned it. I've never had trouble with finals. Honestly, I don't normally have to study because I just learn it during the semester. Then I have 28 more weeks. If you think about it that way, 28 more weeks, that's all I need? Hell, that's how many months is that? It'd be seven months. Seven more months of this and I'm done. And I'm done. Da -da. Done with school. I can be done with school for as long as I want. I can go back if I want. I can never go back if I want. Who knows? But until then, we'll be making all kinds of cool Halo content. If you're in school, you know you know the troubles that it can cause. And uh, I'm ready for it. Honestly, I think YouTube has helped me with my time management. Because I'm constantly thinking about, what do I have to get done today? Can I make a video? Can I push that till tomorrow? And it's, it's awesome. So let's talk about some Waypoint stuff. Uh, I made a forum post a couple days ago that got me banned. <laughs> oh, and a video I just... Uh, made posted right now as I'm recording I'm recording this on Thursday and it is 541 so 41 minutes ago my Xbox One Elite controller review posted a lot of you are commenting shout out to mask 60 who got the first comment shout out to halo 2 beam rifle who got the second comment and shout out to Eminon 438 who got the third comment so quick shout out there hope you guys liked that review I hope you guys went and bought an Elite Controller using my link. And if you've never seen uh, the Elite Controller 
before it's definitely a wow is it really got almost 300 views in the first hour that video is doing really well that video is doing great I'm happy I've noticed recently I've been getting a lot more views on my videos lately don't know why maybe it's because I've been uploading more positive stuff like I said earlier I'm done uploading controversial videos but who knows anyway uh, I want to say I want to say like a couple days ago I was bored at work and started shit posting on Halo Waypoint I made a forum forum whatever titled what was it titled I don't know <laughs> what uh, porn movie would you download if these two Halo characters were in it? Uh, it was actually removed. so <laughs> It was removed and I got banned for it. Um, so it didn't really have a much time to uh, develop. Um, so I've been trying to, you know, oh, here it is. Got it. It got to 10 replies and then got banned. After 10 votes, Chief and Cortana was number one, followed up closely by Gravemind and Cortana. And then a three-way or two-way tie for second was Chief and Locke and uh, a Lasky solo film. And then coming in, tying for last, was Johnson and Miranda Keys and Locke and Palmer. So interesting little combinations there. I thought that was kind of interesting that I got banned for that. Not really. I figured I would. I just kind of wanted to shift post on Halo Waypoint a little bit. I do want to bring up my uh, notoriety on that forum a little bit more. So if you're on Halo Waypoint... Um, Look out for me. I'm going to be posting a lot more. You can only post five times per day if you are a uh, bronze member. So I'm working towards iron every day once I get off uh, not banned. I'm going to start applying to some more uh, forum topics, try to make myself more notable on uh, that forum. Because it does have some, while Halo Waypoint is probably the worst scum of the earth go there, um, there are some good points to it. I think there are some great points to Halo Waypoint. Um, I don't know if every part of it is, but for the most part, some of it are pretty cool. So I'm going to be posting more on Halo Waypoint. I also like to talk about some Halo Waypoint threads while I'm here on Staketacular. And the first one is something that I kind of wanted to bring up earlier, is the Halo... Ooh, I didn't think you'd push, my friend. That was dumb of you. Oh, that guy must, uh... He must be a Warzone lover. <laughs> He's, he doesn't understand pushing and not pushing. Mr. Achilles. Right, let's see if anyone pushes through. Anyway, Arena Slayer BR variants. Um, basically, it was a forum made, or a post on the forum made, saying, hey, I didn't have a pistol there. I would have switched my pistol. Um, would it be cool for there to be a BR only Slayer, or BR AR Slayer in Arena? You know, like a, like a variant of it. And I said yes to the forum. And in the forum, the winner of this poll was yes. I think about 60% of the people wanted to see a BR start uh, variant in Slayer. And I found that uh, not surprising at all. People like BR starts. People like the BR starts in the beta. Oh, are we going to get double... Oh, double grab out! Ah, yes! Oh, that was great. Um, so I wasn't surprised at all by those results. I would only like those results if it was a variant, though. I wouldn't want to see BR starts always to be a thing in Slayer or Arena. Um, I think AR and pistol starts do a lot for Halo. They definitely do a lot for Halo. Um, but I think it would also be interesting to see how the battle rifle plays on different maps. In Halo 5 beta, if you guys were around for that, you had to buy the MCC. So I don't know if many of you were there, but I mean, I was a very small YouTuber. I didn't upload at the time. I uh, wish I did. I always wish I did. Because I, I feel like I would have got a lot of fans. I was very good at the beta. Um, but in the beta, one week there were BR starts. One week it was AR pistol. And um, I liked certain maps on BR and I liked certain maps on pistol. Uh, I don't think any single map played amazingly on either one. I think close quarters maps play better with AR and pistol. I think longer range maps play better with the battle rifle. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we should divvy up which maps get a pistol and battle rifle, which maps or get a get a which maps get a assault rifle and a pistol, which maps get a battle rifle and an assault rifle. I don't think we should be the ones to divvy that up. I think that should be something that we just kind of uh, get our strategies as we go along with this. I think with the gunfighter magnum coming out, this could be something that we experience with. You know, gunfighter slayer. We have BR slayer. We have regular classic um, slayer. We have AR magnum slayer. You know, the vanilla kind of slayer. You could do all different sorts of things with this with this new update. I think they're going to try to, and I'm excited for it. 
So I definitely think that BR starts could work, assuming that they're not always BR starts. Um, because the weird thing about the battle rifle is, unlike the pistol, the battle rifle is good in a lot of situations because of its range, because of its fast time to kill even in close quarters with a four shot. Um, I think the battle rifle is a bad weapon to have as your primary primary um, HCS or competitive weapon because it is so versatile. I like the fact that we have the pistol to clean up kills faster in close range. That's just my opinion. Um, and there was another thing that I'm going to end on, which I think people need to shut the fuck up about, which is big file size. A lot of people are complaining about the file size of Halo 5. It's already at 90 gigabytes. With the new update, it could go up to 100. And honestly, I don't see why people are complaining. It's a huge game. We have all these DLC, Forge, which is massive, all of these Warzone maps, all of the wrecks. Of course it's going to be huge. And I never thought in, my, in all of my days that people would complain about a Halo game being too big. Like, sure, okay, if it was 400 gigabytes, yeah, that's too big. But, come on, man. What is so bad about a Halo game taking up a bunch of space on your hard drive? I know a lot of Halo fans that that's really all they play, you know. For me, it doesn't matter because, yes, I play other games. I play Fallout. I play uh, Overwatch. <laughs> Sometimes I'll go and play Gears. You know, I have a couple, I have lots of games on my hard drive. Halo 5 is definitely the biggest. But it's not like I'm constantly having to uninstall Halo 5 to un reinstall new games, you know. And the way the Xbox system works, you can very easily uninstall and reinstall games. Now, if maybe you're in a rural area where that's not something possible for you because you pay for data by the, by the gigabyte or by the 100 gigabytes or by the petabyte, that's different. But I think for the most part, I think a bigger Halo game isn't really a big problem. Sure, maybe it's because the data is optimized poorly, and if that is the problem, then 343, you need to fix that. But I, 343 is a big company. They're part of Microsoft. I feel like they would definitely optimize the data as well as possible. I don't think it's a problem that it's a huge game file. I think it even says something positive about the game. That yes, this is a big game with a lot of content. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't understand why people are complaining about it. And... Um, talked about it last because I don't want this video to be 100% about it because honestly it's not that big of a deal. Seriously. More content is never a big deal. I don't know why in the Halo community it is. Maybe it's just because we're that toxic. We've reached a point of toxicity that is just far beyond any other game. I don't know. Whatever. I'm done talking about it. My voice, I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm starting to get hoarse. <clears throat> We've been going 40 minutes and this point I've been talking for like two hours straight. And I uh, kind of want to die right now. <clears throat> I'm starting to get hiccups and stuff. It's not good. It's not going well. I'm not going to last much longer. So thank you all for watching. Um, if you watch this all the way through, secret code is... I wish Halo was 200 gigabytes. That's the secret code if you watch this all the way through. Um, thank you all for watching. Please make sure to go check out... Why am I shouting out other videos on my channel? <laughs> Please make sure to go check out my other video of Staketacular. Also go check out the top five if you haven't seen that one. Um, that Another one, episode two, will be uploaded tomorrow. And uh, there will also be one on Chaotix Gaming. So make sure to check those out. I'm really excited about that series. I hope it takes off and, and becomes something that a lot of people love. Um, thank you all for watching. My name has been Luke Notable. Stay notable and I'll see you in the next video.